Good afternoon all, another butt converter, but this one is the daddy. Yes, this one is the DPS 5015, so up to 50 volts out at 15 amps. In fact, it says that up there. Now, this power supply has been kindly provided by TomTop, so uh, thanks very much to TomTop. And if you want to know a little bit more about the arrangement between myself and TomTop, see the description below. So uh, let's get this out of its box and uh, take a look at the module and the display unit. And uh, I'm going to immediately make a comparison with the DPS 3012. So this is 30 volts, 12 amps. This one is 50 volts, 15 amps. And uh, yes, I mean, they are remarkably similar. The control units are identical. So let's just have a look at the differences uh, between these two. This unit, incidentally, I also got from TomTop a little while ago. Uh, so very similar footprint size. In fact, the 5015 is ever so slightly smaller. Uh, the inductor looks almost identical. The capacitors are slightly different and in a slightly different position. This one has a through hole diode and MOSFET on a heatsink with a fan. This one appears to have surface mount uh, diodes and MOSFETs. There may be four there. There may be two here and two down there. So possibly more components, but smaller. Uh, different connections. This has some fairly rugged looking uh, screw terminals. This, they opted for these plug-in uh, connectors so that you can sort of remove the wire harness in one go. But yeah, obviously a lot of similarities. Of course, they're manufactured by the same manufacturer. Uh, what else have we got? Yes, here we've got um, three sort of heavy gauge wire current sense resistors here. There are only two. This is 12 amp. This is 15 amp. Uh, that's about it for the differences, I think. So these are both made by Rui Deng. Uh, the 3012 has a 6 to 40 volt input range, 0 to 32 out, 0 to 12 amps out, and 384 watts maximum power capability. Uh, the 5015 has a 6 to 60 volt input, 0 to 50 volts out, 15 amps maximum output current, and a maximum power handling of 750 watts, under ideal conditions, of course. So also in the box uh, is, of course, the display module. I have to peel that uh, sheet off. A couple of connecting wires to go into these two uh, sockets, and also a little bag of these um, forked spade terminals, I suppose they are, which you can uh, clamp down under these input and output sockets. So let's connect it up. Uh, so in here we've got LCD and key, although these two cables appear to be uh, identical. Certainly the same number of uh, pins. Right, let's make sure I get these the right way around. Uh, that one is key. And uh, this one is LCD, and they are marked LCD. And in there, where is it? There it is. It says key. So you really can't get that wrong. Now, if I'm going to drive a lot of current through this thing, I need a fairly substantial input supply. So I've gone and got two 12 volt uh, gel lead acid batteries. I've just uh, put a little thin piece of wire there. Eh, sort of act as a fuse. Actually, I might run a separate fuse from the positive, which is that one, down to the supply. Uh, so let's wire up pos and neg to the input of the supply now. Right, I found this, uh, and it has a 5 amp fuse in it. That might be enough. Uh, 24 volts in, 12 volts out, 15 amps. Yeah, I need more like 7.5 amps, so I might uprate that. But anyway, for the moment, that'll do. So let's cut that and uh, wire it from the battery to the input of this. Right, let's collect, connect this. And I'm getting quite a spark there, but that's probably just the input capacitors. Uh, so yeah, that's working fine, and it's saying that the input voltage is 24.79 from these gel batteries. Good. Right, that's the input sorted out to the uh, power supply. Now for output, 
I bought some of these. These are MR16 bulbs, uh, 12 volt AC or DC, of course, 35 watts. And I've got six of these. I'm just going to put one on for the moment because I think I can just wedge it in between those terminals and we'll light up a 12 volt bulb. Right, that uh, bulb is wedged on the output pins, I think, reasonably well. Now, what's this set to? It's set to 5 volts and 15.1 amps. Uh, yeah, that's fine, 5 volts. So, yeah, that's come on, that's fine. So now I want to raise this up to 12 volts. Now, I seem to remember there was a way of doing this. Press M to highlight the digit. You then click the button to move it. So now I can move it up in tenths of a volt. So 7, 8, 9, 10... 11 and up to 12 volts and that uh, lamps nice and bright now so that's good now what I want to do is create a parallel string of these lamps so that I can start drawing a lot more than just three amps so that's three lamps connected in parallel using this rather novel wire wrap technique uh, so let's press set uh, come down to current set and uh, I want that digit. So let's set it for about 10 amps. Yes, I think that'll do. Come out of that. Uh, so we've got 12.05 volts, 10.1 amps current limit. Uh, okay, let's switch on. And I did see the fan briefly spin then, but it's since stopped. Now these are gonna get very hot very quickly and probably melt my mat, so I'll turn that off. But that's 8.9 amps, and it doesn't even seem to want the fan on. Good. And uh, there doesn't seem to be any drama under here. That all feels, well, not warm at all, really. Oh, tiny bit of warmth over here, possibly next to these two MOSFETs, but no, that seems pretty reasonable. Right, let's be a little bit more aggressive with the uh, voltage to get a bit more current, 17 volts. Aha, that's cut out. Now that's probably my fuse. I'm hoping it is anyway. Uh, yeah, my five amp fuse blew, so uh, thank goodness for fuses. Right, I've now got uh, a 10 amp fuse on the input. I've got five of these 35 watt lamps in parallel using my new enhanced wire wrap technique. Just check nothing's shorting out. Okay, so I'm going to start at uh, 10 volts. I've got a 15 amp current limit. Let's switch that on. Make sure I can see it. So I'm drawing 13.2 amps. Let's start taking the voltage up. And we'll go top of the shop. And there we are, current limiting at 15.06 amps. Now the fan is spinning on the unit, but nothing untoward seems to be happening. Uh, about 194 watts is being drawn. Okay, let's turn that off so as not to melt my cutting mat. Good, so it runs at 15 amps, okay. Now it does say here, uh, under large current circumstances, pay attention to heat elimination. I mean, it does have the fan, but uh, maybe they just mean keep an eye on whether certain parts of this thing are getting hot and uh, maybe don't run it at 15 amps continuous. That's the only thing I can really uh, assume from that statement. 